Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, uh, I tried it so you didn't have to. And what did I try? I am trying Tuxedo Linux. And Tuxedo Linux is number 25 in the DistroWatch rankings. Tuxedo OS comes from Germany uh, and it's based on Ubuntu. And it goes with their um, range of computers that they have. So if I go to the link here, this will take you to the Tuxedo website. And you can see tailor-made OS for your Tuxedo. So Tuxedo is a brand of computers from Germany. Now the website may start in German um, because I've been here before, I've already reset it to English. So um, if you're English, um, click there and go for EN, otherwise choose DE if you're German. And if you scroll down, you can see the download link down there. So um, it says, making Linux accessible to the general public. This is our mission at Tuxedo Computers. With, it, with Tuxedo OS, we not only offer Linux notebooks and PC, but also the operating system for our hardware. So this is a computer manufacturer that actually provides a Linux distribution as part of the service. So if I go to download, obviously you don't have to have a Tuxedo computer to run this. Um, you can get the latest version by clicking this ISO here. Um, I've already done it, so I don't need to do that. You can, of course, look at their computer offerings. Um, for instance, if I click here, you can see uh, the price is around a 779 euro mark um, and upwards. So it's, they're not the cheapest, but um, I, I don't know anything about the hardware itself, so I'm not going to comment on that. I'm just going to comment on the Linux distribution. So here I am, I'm in uh, Vert Machine Manager. I'm going to click on New here. And I'm going to click Forward. And, and I'm going to click Browse. And I am going to click Browse Local. And I'm going to choose Tuxedo OS. So the downloaded file. I'm going to choose the operating system as probably General Linux. Click forward. Uh, I'm going to give it give it eight gigabytes. I'm going to give it four cores, and we're going to choose. I've actually already created a drive for this, um, so it's called Tuxedo. I'm going to choose the volume, and I'm going to click forward. And I'm going to call it Tuxedo, and I'm going to click finish. And Tuxedo is now going to boot. And I'm just going to click the first option and let it boot up. So I'm going to go into full screen mode. The you can see it's actually loaded with German as the default. Um, not surprising, it's a German-based distro. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can get to British English and click next. And it's now chosen the correct time zone, etc., and the keyboard and system language. So you can see it's picked the English UK and the standard keyboard layout. So if I click set up there, and now it's going to configure locales. Uh, I tried this about 10 minutes ago and it took a little while to get going. So uh, I'm just going to come back when it's finished. If I go to full screen mode, um, you can see that it hasn't set my display correctly, so I can sort that myself. And we go in here, and this is the option we want, click apply keep and that's perfectly fine and now we can click on the installer we start the installer in American English um, so we're going to leave that click next I'm going to choose a raised disk because I'm working in a virtual machine obviously if you're doing this to your actual machine um, you'll want to back up everything first I'm not going to do anything with swap I'm just going to click next and I'm going to enter my Username. And you can see it, uh, if you leave the required strong password, it will give you a message if you don't set the password strong enough. I'm going to click install, install now, and Tuxedo will now begin to install onto the computer, and I'll be back as soon as that's finished. So the installation has completed, all we need to do now is click done and let it reboot. 
So here we are at the login screen. I'm just going to log in. And we are logged in, and you can see it's actually chosen the correct display settings. So if I go into here, it's actually gone to the correct value straight away. Many installers leave it as it was before. So that's a good thing. Uh, the desktop is KDE. Uh, it looks quite nice. We are going to do the hardware test. So if I go down here and click on this symbol here, you can see I've got three Wi-Fi devices. I'm not surprised by this. This is based on Ubuntu, of course, so I'd expect it to work. Uh, if I go to Bluetooth, what we're going to do is plug in a Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth mode. So if I go down here now and add a new device, it's picked up my Bluetooth speaker. Connecting. And if we go to Firefox, you see there's a notification down the bottom about uh, restarting the system. Um, that's because of some updates that have installed. Um, but we're going to accept all for YouTube and we're going to see if a video plays via the Bluetooth speaker. Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Kashi OS. So uh, here we are on the Kashi OS website. It's uh, spelled C A C H Y O S dot org. So this is the previous and version of I tried it, so you didn't have to. How Glove says this. It says Kashi OS. And as you can see, that worked OK. Um, so the next thing we'll try is some printing. So go to configure printers. Add a printer. It's not found my printer instantly. And I'm going to have to pick the printer. And we'll go for this option here. And it's making us do all the work. But now we have a printer and in theory it should print. Let's try a test page to see if that works. And I don't know if you can hear but behind me the printer has kicked up. And it printed perfectly okay without any problems at all. So hardware is good. Let's see what applications are installed with Tuxedo. So under development we've got the uh, Kate text editor which comes as part of KDE. Under games we've got a basic set, uh, Mahjong, Minesweeper, Patience and Sudoku. And graphics, uh, we've got an image viewer called Gwenview, we've got LibreOffice Draw, a document viewer and a scanner application and internet we've got a Firefox, uh, KDE Connect, a torrent client and Thunderbird Mail. Uh, multimedia we've got a music player called Elisa and VLC and Office, the LibreOffice suite. Under Science and Maths, uh, LibreOffice and then we've got some settings. Now none of this is particularly surprising, I'm not seeing anything actually missing. It's got one of each application you expect for um, an operating system that comes with what would essentially be an OEM computer. So they've supplied a computer and they supplied the operating system with all the tools you need to get going. It's then up to you to install what you need. Under the Tuxedo menu you've got this control center to help you tune it and web FII create is the easiest way to prepare uh, a USB pen drive for a fully automated installation. So we're not going to do that and that's about it. So Elisa looks like a decent um, audio player and it's got radio stations at the bottom so we could Different names, different names. 
that works okay. Installing applications is KDE based, so you get Discover. So let's see what is installed. So we can get Chrome. It says no. I was hoping that we would see. Oh, so FlatHub isn't installed by default, but you can add FlatHub here. And now it's shown up. So let's see if that makes things better. Now, if I search for Chrome. it's now there available so you can install Chrome if you want to and you can see it's coming from Flatpak so if you want Steam you've got the Steam installer you want Spotify Spotify is available so all in all um, the ability to install packages is nice and straightforward using KDE Discover and enabling flat pack if we want to configure the wallpaper this is KDE so let's see if there's any nice wallpapers installed And there you go, um, that's how you change your images. Uh, all in all, um, I'm really liking this uh, distribution. It's it's Ubuntu, uh, let's not get away from there. It's Ubuntu, but it's uh, with KDE as a um, desktop environment. It's got a decent set of tools installed. Like Firefox, LibreOffice, you've got an image viewer, audio player, media player, um, all the tools you'll need to get going. It's got KDE Discover to make it easy to install other applications. The hardware support is perfectly fine. The installation was straightforward. This is everything that you would expect from a system that's for the everyday Linux user. And it's actually really, really good. And because it's being sold with computers, I expect it to hang around for quite some time. And even if it doesn't, um, you could always fall back to Ubuntu or Kubuntu or KDE Neon if you if you wanted to but this is actually a really really good operating system I'm really impressed really enjoyed it and that's the end of the review if you like it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User Tuxedo OS worth checking out